In this video, I wanna talk about a problem I'm having with my Ring doorbell. So I just moved here not too long ago. I know that my Ring doorbell works, but I haven't been able to set it up in this house. What it was doing is this ring right here at the top was kind of blinking blue. Now it has this white spinning ring, which is setup mode. So when I go to try and set it up now, it just will not connect. And I think I know what the problem is. So if you've done all of the troubleshooting through the Ring app and you just can't connect it, I would check this. This right here is the transformer for your doorbells. Check on the panel first. This could actually be hidden in the wall, attached to some framing somewhere, unfortunately. But I would check your panel first and then check the volt rating on it. So this one is 10 volts at 5VA, which is volt amperes. I don't know exactly what that means or how that works, but I do know that ring requires at least 16 volts at 30 volt amperes. So I got a new transformer right here. You can see 16 volt, 30VA. So I'm gonna replace that old transformer with this one, and I'm hoping that this is gonna fix the problem. I think the ring just needs a little more power and I'm hoping that this is going to do it. Now I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on how to replace this. It is pretty simple. You just take out the old one and put the new one in the same way you took that one out. But if you are uncomfortable working with electricity, and I don't blame you because it can be dangerous, make sure you get a licensed electrician, somebody who's qualified to do the job. Just please remember to be safe. Okay, so I reconnected again, and immediately it worked. So that must have been it. So it looks like that was my problem. Again, probably a good idea to troubleshoot as much as possible before doing something like this, including going through the app, using their menu. You might have to add a power adapter in your Chime. You may have to connect to a certain network, for instance, 2.4 gigahertz versus five gigahertz. There could be issues with your Wi-Fi or different devices in your house, or if you have multiple doorbells. It could be a lot of things, but if you're not getting the power you need and you just can't connect to the internet, even though you see it there and it is tangible, but it won't happen, uh, hopefully this will solve your problem. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps.